This is this is Sirach, chapter ten, verse verse seven. No, it's like verse eight. Because of unrighteous decrees and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to the other. Uh, with that, bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Shai, bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Shai. Go with me, Yahweh, bash him, bash him, bash him, go with Nash. The man that's right, Apostle, that was a great millstone. We're gonna teach him. Okay. Um. Yes, yeah, Zach. You know. Let me read it again. Because of unrighteous dealings and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to the other. Exactly. Now, who, 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 got, who got you riches by deceit? You saw the white man. You saw the people who eat white. Okay? And then who's, who's going to reign the earth in righteousness? Who, 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 when, 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 when the things are going to change, man? Because Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of that father. Okay? And then they said, Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans, you're the next rulers out of planet earth. Starting off with the elect, and under, 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 under I started out with Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, King David, and the twelve and one hundred forty-four thousand. We're, 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 we're going to be the new government body of Yahweh Shemal Shai, and the world is going to be it's going, it's going to be gov governed in order and in righteousness. Okay, there's not going to be no wickedness in it, man. The earth is going to be one hundred percent righteousness. There's going to be no such thing as wickedness, man. Okay, there's nobody not going to see a homosexual. Okay, you're not going to see a a, a tranny. You're not going to see. Uh, wicked niggas, man, smoking weed, getting high, doing drugs, man. Okay, you're not gonna see no disrespectful little niggas, man. Okay, yo, our people gonna be are gonna be royalty, man. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna know how to talk to each other royalty. They gonna have a royalty love again, all right? You know, hey, how you doing, my brother? You know, said, hey, hey, what's up, nigga? You know what I'm saying? And then we're, we're, we're gonna have we're gonna have that that king shit back, man. That that king mind, okay? Because our people are have have minds of the eating. Okay, they came they be they came to the it because why? So is the so as the king, so are the people, man. So this this damn devil, the so-called white man, he's the devil to the fool. He's a heathen, okay? And he and he think is wicked. So all that wickedness rolled off on our people. And now and they, anything that Jake do gonna be he's gonna do on a higher level. That's what I'm gonna see the mocking become more wicked than the wicked. Alright? Because anything anything with Jake is, anything with Jake, Jake will outdo you, man. That's why our people be the most biggest faggots. You know, it's, it's a, that's why the Lord's going to return. But this is uh, this is Second Peter chapter six, this is Second Peter chapter six, and, uh, verse six. This says, "I caused these things, and they were made through, made made, 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 made alone, and through none other by me also they shall be and and, and by one other." Then answered, and then then answered I and said, "What shall be the parting asunder of the times, and or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow?" He and he answered, sent unto me from Abraham unto Isaac. When Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob hailed Jacob's hand healed hell first of Esau's heel. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of that, the beginning of that follow. Exactly, Esau is the end of the world, man, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. Okay, we're the beginning of the world, and Esau is the end because Esau will be having his rulership over the earth in these last days. Okay, according, according to uh, Bible prophecy, man. Okay, what the Lord spoke to us, all right? He saw what happened right over there, okay? All right, this is uh, Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. This is Daniel chapter 2, and verse 21. And he changes the times and seasons. He removeth kings instead of of kings. He give he give wisdom to the wise, and knowledge to them that know that that know understanding. Exactly, he gives knowledge to them that have no understanding. Because Esau have no no understanding of the Lord, but he has understanding of what how to destroy himself. Okay, he has he has understanding of wickedness, man. But the Lord gave gave gave, gave the wit to the wisdom the wisdom to the wise, so that the prophets can men of the Lord. Okay, the men of old that are back here now in his reincarnation doing the same thing, man. Okay, so the Lord set up both kings, right? And the Lord set, and the Lord set the soft white man up in these last days, man. He gave him the power over over over, over the heavens and the earth right now. He gave him the power over over the world. Okay, so like he gave him the power over the world. Okay, he gave him power to 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 to, to rule, man. But the Lord gonna take this take gonna take this devil down because it, it's a, it's his time to go down, man. It's our time. This this is uh, Daniel chapter four, verse seventeen. This matter is by the declare of of the watcher. Fuck it. This 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 matter is declared by other watches in the dominions by the word of the holy ones to the. Time 
to the issues that they have just like you that he living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and and give it to whomever he will and set him up and set him up over the basis of men who's the basis of men the so-called white man Esau man the devil because he don't know how to rule the earth man he doesn't know how to rule the earth in righteousness that's why our lord said he was going to set up a, set up set up one who's profitable man right? who's profitable the israelites okay you so-called black man they make you 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 are meant to inherit the earth okay you are meant to, to receive the the things of the earth man but our but these lot of people now today, they're not them, they're not they're not the people that that, that, that you that you read about in the, in the scriptures, man. Okay? They're they're totally they're totally different. They're totally going backwards. These niggas are wicked. Okay? They don't know how to have they don't know they are people don't know how to have respect for one another, first first and foremost. Okay, that's part of verse 2854. Okay, we don't know how to agree each other greet each other with, 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 with kindliness and with respect. Okay, niggas niggas, niggas always wanna, you know, just be niggas, man. You know? And the men of the Lord, man, well, that's not how that's not how we get down, man. You know, we hey, we treat each other with love and respect. You know, we we're, we're kingly minded, man. We we man, we're, we're kings and priests. The Lord said, "Ye are a generation of of, of kings and of, of kings and priests, man." You know, that's we we are holy people. So we have to act in that manner, man. It's nothing wrong having a kingly mind because soon to be we're gonna receive the kingdom, the elect. Then we're gonna receive the kingdom, man, and the kingdom is gonna be beautiful. Okay, we're gonna receive all things, precious stones. Uh, different gold, silvers, rubies, different uh, uh, ornaments, you know, all different types of jewelry that we're going to have in our kingdom. Our kingdom is going to be vast, man. It's going to be a kingdom like no man has ever seen. Okay? In the back of the scripture, this is Daniel chapter, chapter 2. This is Daniel uh, chapter 2. Uh, this is Daniel 2 verse 44. And in these days of these king, the king shall, 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 the, shall the most high have set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all the kingdoms and it shall stand forever. Okay, it's going to destroy all these kingdoms because what well, Yahweh is coming to destroy the foot. We're at the foot of uh, Nebuchadnezzar's dream, man. That's why I said it was partly, uh, partly strong and partly weak. Because what happened, man? America's partly strong and partly weak. Because first and foremost, you got all these different nations in it. In America. Okay, that makes it partly strong and part, partly weak. And then two, not that only, man. Hey, um, France ain't a... The American France, man, they ain't hey, France. They ain't in the part out. That's why it's called partly strong and partly weak, man. You know? For so much as thou seest, the stone was cut off, was cut out of the mouth with, with, with our hands, and that it broke into pieces. The iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, the gold, and the great, and, and the great power have made known to the king what shall come to pass here and therein. And the dream is, is created. It's concerned in the interpretation there. That's it. Hey, our king is going to be everlasting king. Okay, an everlasting king. It's never going to end. It's never going to be an to our kingdom. Because once this devil goes down, hey, our king is going to be forever, man. You know? And this, and this, this, and this is Daniel chapter 7 verse 13. I saw, I, I, I saw in the night a vision, and behold, one like unto the Son of Man come with the clouds of heaven. And he came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him and there was a and there was given him given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people and nations and languages shall serve him his dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall never pass away in this kingdom that which shall be which shall not be destroyed and that's about Yahweh Shai man okay because Yahweh Shai is coming to restore peace back onto the earth because this, this, this world has been corrupted by, by the wicked it's been corrupted by the witness on the so white man. This is why Esau wanna be destroyed in his upcoming the World War Three and two thirds of our people as well because they have they have, they have, they have become as one as the heathen. Okay? These niggas are, are are the heathen, man. These niggas is wicked, man. And these niggas need to die. That's why you they're not gonna make it, man. And the same niggas that that they're always coming up against the prophets of the Lord. But that's why we won't put the niggas to death, man. All these all these niggas, man. Two thirds of our people didn't want to get right with this truth. You're gonna die, man. And here in America. We're not in the middle of it, we're not doing fuck because we told y'all niggas, man. 
We told y'all niggas to get out for 21 weeks because man, you thought we, we, we were liars. You thought we were fucking, you think we're crazy. Okay, we, you think we're, we're just, we're just all these different things. But the thing is, we're, hey man, we're angels, man. All the word angels, all the word angels needs is message. And we are, man, because we're angels and bodies. We're the right hand side angels of the most high. Send out in these last days and proclaim this word out to the four heavens and the earth. Okay, to warn the people, to, to wake up the elect. So we can hopefully be saved, man. Our audience upcoming coming to struggles from America. Okay? And this is uh and, and this is um Daniel chapter um, uh, ch- chapter uh sorry, chapter nine verse uh twenty-five. And he shall and he, and he, and he, and he shall speak great words. He shall speak words, so great words against the most high, and shall wear out the saints of the most high. And things will change times and laws, and they shall be given unto him until times and times in, in the binding of times. That's it. Amen. Amen. This devil runs the saints of the most high. You know? Hey, this devil runs out the saints of the most high every day, man. On day day basis, man. You know, you be us being here in this captivity, I'll be us being here in this wicked bullshit, hey, man. It's, it's vexing, you know? It, 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 it's vexing, you know? Hey, that's why the Lord's gonna deliver us about this shit, man. Sirach, uh, I already got this like Let me go look. Uh, this is Matthew. Point is what? Hey, the Lord's with us. Yahweh Shai is with us all the way till the ends of the earth. So Yahweh Shai is with us now. We have Yahweh Shai, man, because Yahweh Shai come in the value of the book. The Spirit of Yahweh Shai is with us, man. Okay? And this is why the kingdom is going to be flipped. Okay? Because Yahweh Shai is coming to take over, man. Okay? Hey, the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. The saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. We want to take the kingdom back. We're gonna take what's always back because of everything we as we don't let know that you can say that it's the people robbed and spoiled. You know, everything, everything that we every, our heritage was robbed and spoiled, man. All of our gold, you know, if hey, our, our, all of our heritage was robbed and spoiled. Man. Uh, this is uh Daniel chapter 7, verse 22, verse 11. And I behold, because of the voice of the great words which which, which the ancient of days came. And, and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High in the time to come that the saints that the, that the, that the saints shall possess the king. This he said, For we shall be the four king, kingdoms, the earth shall be reserved for, for all kings, and shall, and shall deserve the whole earth, and shall, and, and shall, and shall try it down and break it into pieces. That's it. And the saints of the Most High shall possess the kingdom, man. Okay, we got next, man. You know, we got the kingdom next. The Lord's going to set us up. The Lord's going to set up his rulership, okay? Hey, and it's going to be in righteousness. It's not going to be no wickedness, man. And we're patiently waiting for that, you know? We're patiently waiting for that kingdom. This is James chapter 5, verse 19. Uh, Slack it, verse, uh, verse 7. Be patient, therefore, brethren, until the coming of, of Yahweh Shai. Behold, the husband waited for the precious fruit of the earth and have long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. That's it, man. You know, this is Matthew 16 and 27. That's what we're doing, man. We're, hey, we're waiting patiently for the, for the, for the earth, man. We're waiting patiently. Hey, I'll see how I'm talking about Yahweh Shai. But we're waiting as well, man. You know, that's why the Lord said, be patient. You know, we just got to be. Hey, hey, man, this takes time. 
No, the Lord's not gonna sit here and rush this thing, you know. And that's what do we hope we're waiting patiently, man. Patiently and, and faithfully. And with and with 100 percent faith. And by and I'm gonna keep on reading. Verse 8. And by ye also pay, uh, patiently so bless you, uh, assemble your hearts Time for the coming peace. of the Lord draweth nigh. Is that the Lord the, the coming of the Lord draweth nigh? No. And the, the day of hey man, the day of the Lord draweth nigh. You know, the day Yahweh shall return and draw nigh. So at the end of the day, and the Lord said, Behold, I'm coming quickly. You know? So this is this is uh Matthew 16 and, um, 27. For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father, which his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his work. Is that he gonna reward every man according to his work? So all so all the elect are gonna be crowned for doing this work, for giving your body a living sacrifice, okay, for, for forsaking the, the earth, man, for doing everything you had to do for Yahweh Bashi Okay, this that's that's the elect's goal, man. This is in this uh Romans 8. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, he. Let me just again. For we are saved by hope. Say we are saved by hope, man. We are saved by hope. You know, we are, because we're hoping for the kingdom of heaven, man. We're hoping for Yahweh shall return. We're hoping for for the Lord to to, to, to come and deliver us, man. We're hoping for the glory and things other things to come, man. All right, we're hoping, man. Patient, right? For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not yet, is not, is not hope. For what a man seeth, way doeth he get yeah, hope for. But if we hope for what we see, not then do we have peace. Wait for it. Mm, wait for it, man. So we don't see, exactly, we don't see the kingdom of heaven right now. We're not living it up right now, man. We are catching hell. We are in the sweet and the sorrowful, and the sorrowful, uh, uh, time right now, man. The Passover, it wasn't, the Passover, it wasn't supposed to be a feast, a party. Man, it was supposed to be a song and a symbol. Because we are, we are still in the bitterness of our captivity, man. This is scripture, man. This is Romans, uh, 824 for we are saved by hope. We are saved, we are saved by hope. But well, hope that is seen is not hope. But hope that is seen is not hope, man, because you already see it. You're not hoping for it because you're already in it, man. We're hoping for the kingdom of heaven because we don't see it, man. We see it, but we're not living it. We're not living in luxury, man. We're not living life. Okay? We're living, we're living in a bullshit ass system, man. A wicked ass and corrupted system, man. It's gonna be fucking destroyed. And Lord's will, man, this year, man. Time. Lord's will, the Lord delivers us, man. Lord's will, the Lord get, you know, get, hey, cuts off Esau's time. Cause, hey, it, we, man, the elect, we are, we are praying and hoping patiently for this thing, man. But we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seen, yet. Why, why do we yet hope for? But if we hope for for that we see, not then do we do we have patience to wait for it. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our our, our information, for for we know not what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groaning. Which, which which cannot be un, unheard, un, unheard. That's it. And he that searcheth the Time heart knoweth know, know what is in the mind of the spirit because he maketh intercession for the saints accordingly to the will of the Most High. And we know that all things work together for the Most High to them that love Yahweh Shai to them who are called According to his purpose. That's talking about the elect, man. Time. So we have hope. We are hoping every day for the kingdom, man. We're praying for the kingdom, man. Yeah, let's get to the let's get that this, uh, this is this is Hebrews. This is script, man. This is script. This is Hebrews. Uh this is Hebrews chapter 13, verse 14. For for here we have no continuous city, but we see one to come. Is that here we have no continuous city? Now we we not look 
looking for this person for living in this damn place for years and all, man. Fuck that shit, yo. Hey, we want the kingdom of the Lord, man. We want y'all about shit our shot at turn. We want to we do what righteousness will be at, man. No weakness, okay? Time, bitch. Second Corinthians uh, 5 and 7. Chapter 5, verse 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. You know, exactly, man. All we walk by faith, not by sight. So, hey, we believe in these scriptures, man. We believe in this word. And this is uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 4 and uh, 17. For our light affliction, hey, let's read 3 verse 16. For which cause we faith, we weep. Hey, this, this is beautiful, man. Call on Yahweh by Shema Shai by Shema. We got some scriptures for this word. So, without this word, we would not be able to make it, man. It, 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 this is a uh, four and a sixteen. For which, for, for which concern if we faint not, for through our outward man perishes, yet his inward man is renewed day by day through his word. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, walking for us a far more ex exalting and an an eternal weight of our glory. Yo, we have eternal weight for our glory. So all the other we're catching is not is not going to be. Well, we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Exactly, man. The things that are not seen, which is eternal, what's not seen in the kingdom of heaven. You know, Yahweh Shema shall return and live in his elect, man. You know, but the things that are seen are what? Are temporal, man. Hey, man, this place, America, is it's temporal. It's not gonna be here forever, man. And this is gonna pass away. It's gonna pass away, man. We're not gonna be here in this damn place forever. You know? The Lord's not gonna, the Lord's, the Lord's not gonna leave us a lake. This is Romans uh, 4 and 8. This is Romans 4 and 8. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin, cause his, cause his, his blessing, then upon the circumcised only, our uncircumcised also. For we say that faith was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. How was in that reckoned when he was circumcised or uncircumcised, not in circumcision, but in, in uncircumcision? And he received the, the signs of the circumcision in a cell of the righteous of the faith which he had yet brung time on un circumcision that he might be the father of all them that believe through, through they but not circumcised the right the righteousness might be and put it unto them also it's all about abraham's faith man because abraham had a strong faith in the lord you know it's so like that's probably, I, but hey, it's all, it's all, you know, spirit, but you know, I didn't you know what, you know, this, this, uh, this, this is back in Romans uh, 4 and 18. Who against, who against the hope, believing in hope, that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which, which, which was spoken, was spoken so, so that see be in the beginning, not weak in faith, he consumed not his own body. Now dead when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the neither the dead the damsel of of, of Sarah's womb. Time beats. He struggled. He, he struggled not at the promise of the Yahushua Mashiach through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to Yahushua Mashiach, and being and being full of of. Of per, a perdition, a, a, a perdition, that what he had promised, he was able as to perform, and through it was was was, was imparted to him for righteousness. Now, now it was not written for his sake alone that it was imparted to him, but for us also to whom it shall be imparted. Of we believe on him. That rest upon Yahweh Shai our Lord from the dead. That just like it, that rose up Yahweh Shai our Lord from the dead, who was delivered from our for, for our affliction, 
It was raised again for our justification. Therefore, being justified by the, by the faith, we have peace with the Most High and through our Lord Yahweh Shai. By whom all, but by whom all, all also we have, that we, that we have uh, a caught uh, across by faith, by faith, and into the grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of the Most High. And, and not only see, but we glory in tribulations. Also, knowing that tribulation worketh um, perditions. That's it, man. Time. That's it, you know. That's it, man. That's it. And call y'all by Shema Shai, man. Through faith, we're going to get it, man. Through the faith in the, in the, in the name of y'all by Shema Shai. Believe it, we're going to receive this kingdom. And we have a beautiful kingdom coming. You know, we have a lot of things to look forward to. You know, even though it's kissing itself, I was going through this light affliction. You know, hey, it's all worth it in the kingdom of heaven. You know, it's all going to be worth it, man. When Yahweh Shah returns, when the Lord returns, when he lets his crown go out, worth it. So with that, one of my prayers too, Yahweh, by Shil, by Shai, by Shil, by Kadash, I'm honest for our apostles, I'm going to teach well. Peace out to Israel with that. Shalom.